Every single day, we are inching closer and closer to the start of the seven star Mewtwo Terror Raids. Our Mew builds are all fired up and ready to go, so we've had some time to think about what other Pokemon just might be able to solo seven star Mewtwo. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. There are less than two weeks until the Mewtwo seven star Terror Raid starts, and less than one month until the Teal Mask DLC drops in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and we are so excited for the next month of Pokemon. Check out our video on our six builds to beat seven star Mewtwo if you haven't already, for our full Mewtwo preview. We are back today with another build that we think is going to be able to solo the seven star Mewtwo Terror Raid. But before we get into this build, we want to make it very clear that you should use Mew. Yes, this video is about a Slow King build, and we think this Slow King build is awesome because of the combination of foul play and swagger. But we want to make it very clear, you should use Mew and online raids when the event starts, when you join in to play with your favorite streamers, when you join in online raids or to play with your friends. Use Mew first, and then let's start experimenting with funky builds and figure out the most fun ways and creative ways to take down 7 Star Mewtwo. There are only three things you need to know for this video. We are afraid of Psy Strike, which is a very strong special attacking psychic move that deals damage to the target's defense. Number two, dark type Pokemon are immune to psychic moves, including Psy Strike. And number three, that Mewtwo is going to have Aura Sphere, which is a special attacking fighting move that's going to hit dark Pokemon for super effective damage. Shout out to the Danimal Black Red Pill for giving us this idea. With all of this in mind, let's get into the build. Here's the high level look at our Slow King build for soloing this 7 star Mewtwo raid. Also be sure to check out our Bug and Dark Terra Mew builds for taking on 7 star Mewtwo. So let's take a closer look at our Slow King build. Our Slow King is Terra Dark for two reasons to gain immunity to Psy Strike, and to be able to hit for Terrastalize super effective damage with Foul Play. It has max HP EVs, max special defense EVs, and we put the last four into defense. It has a Calm Nature to lower its attack stat, which we won't be using, and to raise its special defense, so we can tank super effective hits from Aura Sphere. Slow King's ability doesn't really matter for this build. We went with Oblivious just in case Mewtwo uses Taunt, but we don't think it will. If Mewtwo uses a move that will confuse us, we can switch our ability to own tempo to prevent confusion. This build has max IVs except for attack or special attack. We will not be using either of those stats. But Sundan, how can we do damage without using our attack or special attack stat? That is where the move Foul Play comes into play. Foul Play is an incredibly strong dark type attack that has its damage calculated not using your attacker's special attack, but the attack stat of your opponent. Mewtwo may be a stronger special attacker, but it still has a base attack of 110, so we're going to be dealing a lot of damage with Foul Play. Swagger makes this build really interesting because it sharply raises the attack of the target while confusing it. This is going to increase the amount of damage we can do with Foul Play in addition to confusing Mewtwo, potentially making it damage itself instead of attacking us. Before we Terrastalize, we're in damage of taking super effective damage from Shadow Ball, and after we Terrastalize, super effective damage from Aura Sphere, so we need Amnesia to boost our special defense so we can tank those hits from Mewtwo. We have some wiggle room to get creative with our fourth move slots. When soloing Mewtwo, we recommend using Slack Off for some additional recovery. But if you're playing with your friends and you want to experiment with some different builds and you want to use this build in group raids, then I would recommend using either a Heal Pulse or a Light Screen in that fourth move slot to help buff your allies and provide some healing to your teammates. This build uses the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. I am really excited about this build. I am so intrigued by that combination of Swagger and Foul Play. Because Foul Play has its damage calculated with your opponent's attack stat, you don't have to invest any EVs in attack or special attack. This lets you make your Pokemon incredibly bulky, with HP and special defense EVs to tank hits from Mewtwo. Slow King is a perfect candidate for this strategy because it naturally has great special bulk with a special defense of 110. We're mostly scared of Mewtwo's special attacking moves. We don't think it's going to have many, if any, physical attacking moves. So we do not mind using Swagger to sharply raise its attack stat because we don't really think that's going to hurt us. We think it's only going to use special attacking moves. Let's take a look at the step-by-step -step process of how you can put together your own Slow King for soloing 7-star Mewtwo. The first step to building this Slow King build is to catch a Slowpoke at Castle Royal Lake. Give your Slowpoke the held item King's Rock and trade it to a friend. When traded while holding the King's Rock, Slowpoke will evolve into Slowking. Have your friend trade back that freshly evolved Slowking and now we are ready to train it. Next we'll want to get Slowking to level 100 and the easiest way to do that is with experience candies. If you're running low on experience candies, make sure to stock up by farming the Blissey Terror Raid that is running now until September 17th. Now let's EV train Slowking. We're going to give it 25 HP up and 2 HP Feathers to max out Slow King's HP EVs. Next, we're gonna give Slow King 25 Zinc to up its special defense, and then two Clever Feathers to maximize that special defense so we can survive super effective Aura Sphere. 
Lastly, we'll use one iron to put the final four IVs into Slow King's defense to help reduce the damage from Psy Shock a little bit. Next, we're going to optimize Slow King's nature with a Calm Mint that is going to lower Slow King's attack stat, which we won't be using, and raise its special defense stat. If your Slow King has the ability Own Tempo, use an ability capsule to change Slow King's ability to Oblivious. Now let's start working on Slow King's moveset. Head over to the summary, change moves, remember moves. First, let's uh, remember Amnesia. The next move that we're going to remember is Swagger to sharply raise Mewtwo's attack stat to increase the amount of damage that Foul Play is going to do. When using this build in solos, remember Slack Off. Otherwise, you can use Heal Pulse. Next, we're going to go to any Pokemon Center to build the TM for Foul Play. The recipe for Foul Play requires three Murkrow Babble and three Sandile Claws. Go ahead and craft Foul Play and teach it to Slow King right away. Next, we're going to go back to the bag and use three PP Ups on Foul Play, just in case Mewtwo has the ability Pressure. Pressure makes us use two PP for a move every time we use it instead of one. And we do not want to run out of foul play as it is our only attacking move. Now that we got our moves taken care of, let's go IV train our Slow King. For this build, we want to max out our IVs and all of our stats except for attack or special attack. Because we're using the move foul play, we won't be using either our attack or special attack stat here. Next, let's take care of our Slow King's held item. So head over to the Deli Bird Gifts in Lavincia City. Here we can purchase the Shell Bell item, which will provide our build with some much needed recovery. Go ahead and give your beautiful brand new Shell Bell to your Slow King. Last, but certainly not least, it is soup time. Spend 50 of your finest dark Terra shards to make your Slow King Terra type dark. And there we have it, Danimals. Now you have a fully trained Slow King that is going to be able to solo 7-star Mewtwo. Let us know in the comments if you end up trying this build out or if you have any ideas on how we can make it better. When playing with randoms online or with your favorite streamer, just keep it simple and use Mew. But let us know what other Pokemon that you are building to try out in solos or group raids with friends against Mewtwo. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, dropping a comment, or using Foul Play on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Mewtwo season.